Hey, what's up? So, hang on one second. My headphones are all kind of jacked up. Give me one second. So, yeah, this wasn't planned at all. So, if anybody comes by, that'll be nice in general. But uh, I'm doing something a little special today. Yeah. So, the reason why I'm doing this is because... Uh, on January 10th, the definitive edition of Tales of Vesperia is coming out on uh, PC. So I kind of wanted, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been wanting to play through all of the Tales of games or Tales series games, whatever, um, for a while, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And when I was, you know, when I was still part of a coalition of people, like my friends, aka my friends, um, I had originally wanted it to be that, you know, I wanted it to be us playing through these games first, but Persona 5 won the draw, so that's why, you know, we ended up doing Persona 5, but uh, we're gonna start a new game. So if you've never, ever, ever heard of these games before, these are probably, in Japan at least, behind Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy. This is like the third popular RPG series in Japan, and like ever since Tales of Symphonia was released over here, it sort of got you know popularity here. We're gonna, I mean, we're gonna leave his name the same. I'm not like to changing his name to anything else. And this game was like way ahead of its time because it originally came out for the Super Famicom or the Japanese version of the Super Nintendo and it actually had you know voice acting in it um, I feel kind of bad talking through this but it's in Japanese and the video and the voice quality itself is just sort of okay but um, yeah, apparently it had to use like a, a special game cartridge for, for them to put voice acting on the cartridge itself. But I mean, you know, this game is over 20 years old at this point. It was released in 1995. We didn't get it until... Shit, I don't remember when the Game Boy Advance version was released. Ugh, but I mean, I have that right here, Game Boy Advance version. It is not as good as, as the Super Nintendo version, in my opinion. I'm actually playing a Japanese ROM that was translated by um, a group of fans. So, and it's really, I, I prefer it, to be perfectly honest, to um, the GBA version. But this game was released in 1995. Uh, probably, not probably, definitely the dying days of the Super Nintendo. Um, it wasn't the last game released for it, I think. I don't know what the specifics are. It would have been Star Fox 2, but that never came out. But, um, like, definitely, you know, Donkey Kong Country 3 was towards the end of it because Super Mario 64 had come out and the Nintendo 64 had come out even before, like, in September, I want to say. And Donkey Kong Country 3 came out in November, so... Pretty much, yeah, like, tail end of that system. But, I, like many people here in the US, I, my introduction to this series of games was probably Tales of Symphonia. Um, it was just sort of a fluke, uh, my renting that game, because my sister picked it off. Like, we, we rented it, as a matter of fact, from... Um, Hollywood video of all places. It doesn't exist anymore, but you know it close to 20 years ago a little over 20 years because Tales of Symphonia came out in 2003 But like 16 years ago at this point, you know video rental stores were still a thing and um, My sister actually picked it out. So, you know if it hadn't been for her just randomly selecting it I don't think I ever would have been introduced to this series of games but um, if you've never played this game, and I'm gonna, every time I start a new series, I'm going to try to do like an intro video explaining what the game is. 
Oh, oh, I'm not reading this. No, I should probably be reading this. Give me one second and I'll get back to my thought. So I'll go ahead and explain what this is in a second. After generations, this curse upon my family finally ends. But listen, this is like classic, classic old school RPG. Not super old school like Nintendo old school, but Super Nintendo old school at this point because Super Nintendo is well over 20 years old at this point. And boy, doesn't that make you feel old, huh? Assuming you grew up with it, if you haven't grown up with it or ever played one before, it was pretty good for its time, you know, depending at, at each time you grew up during your own video game generation, like your generation obviously is the best one, like people who grew up with the N64, that was their favorite, and to them that was the best one. People before my generation who grew up with the regular Nintendo, you know, that was the best for them. How's your mother doing today? I should be reading this. She's doing much better. Her fever's gone. She should be fine in a day or two. Good. I'm glad she's feeling better. I need to talk about the pendant. My pendant? The one you gave to me for my birthday? What about it? Don't worry about it too much, son. It's not like we're all gonna die or anything. Hey, Amy. I'm going hunting today. Is class going too? Can I come too? Sorry, Amy. You're still too young. Be a good girl and wait here for me to come back, okay? Well, okay. Be careful, Chester. I will see you later, sis. Hopefully you don't die. But, um... Yeah, so, you know, I grew up... My best friend when I was in kindergarten had a regular Nintendo, but... I want to say I was five in kindergarten, as most people are in the US, so that was 93. I want to say Super Nintendo was, what, 91? So, slightly two years after that system came out. And I, did, I got my first uh, gaming console was the Super Nintendo. It was in 94. My aunt got it for me when I was in first grade. And the very first game I had was Donkey Kong Country. It was a bundled system. It came with Donkey Kong Country and the Super Nintendo. I still have my old Super Nintendo around here. Some, it's in that box back there, but I'm not going to go get it. It might even still work. I just don't have the... I you know. Over the years, I didn't take very good care of it because I was a kid and kids don't usually take care of their stuff. But now that I've become an adult and started collecting them, I wish I'd taken better care of it. But, uh, let's see. Ah, I see. We'll talk about it over dinner tonight. Okay, I'll see you then. Good luck, son. Master Tristan, you're more than welcome to stay here with us as long as you like. Thank you kindly, Sir Miguel. I'm glad someone in this house knows how to train rather than going to play in the woods. <laughs> what a passive-aggressive asshole. If I didn't go train in the woods, I would have ended up just like all of you. Which is not dead. Wink. Sorry, I'm late, Jester. Master Tristan came by the house. Class, wait. Mom, you're still sick. Get back to bed and get some rest. Class's mother, Maria. I know. <coughs> I'm just worried this area just isn't safe anymore. Mom, Chester's coming with me. We'll be fine. Don't worry, Mrs. Alvane. We'll be back with plenty of food. You'll need to be rested just so you can cook it all. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. She's sick. Are you going to make her cook the food? All right, just please be careful and take these with you. Your mom gives you two apple gummies. Totus Village. Okay, so this is where we start out. So, yeah, I didn't get a Super Nintendo until 94, but that was kind of like, you know... I don't want to say it's golden age. I don't, say, I don't know specific dates. I should have looked them up and whatnot, but like... It had so many good games on it, that console did. So, like, 94, what's that, like, three years after it came out, and its whole lifespan was, like, what, 96, 97? So it still had, a you know, a ways to go before it would be replaced by the N64. But, um... So, I, you know, I never got to play this game, and at my age, I would never have known how to... Like, I wasn't good at RPGs when I was, like, six or seven, so I wouldn't have been able to really play through this. Jen. Oh, Cliss, you surprised me. We're getting married soon, so we're very busy with all the wedding preparations. Do I really have to be an usher? I mean, you don't have to, Cliss, if you want to be a little bitch about it. Let's see here. Oh. There we go. That's what I wanted. Targeting. You know, I thought we had to get a book to get manual. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I could have sworn... 
manual is kind of what we, uh... Maybe I'm thinking of something else. But we're not going to customize this too much. But yeah, this was on the Super Nintendo originally. And then they re-released re it on PS1 with updated graphics. Because at that time, Tales of Destiny was coming out. And this isn't stuff that I just know. I did a little bit of research before doing this. So that I can kind of do the intro video. But yeah, that brings me back to my further point. Where I was wanting to do an intro video each time I start a new series. Because I, last time I got a question asking me what a game was and when I said I didn't really feel like explaining it because it would take too long I got called um ineloquent which you know is fucking stupid because people are morons but like you know I wanted to say and should have said no eloquent yes loquacious no just because I don't want to talk doesn't mean I don't know how to talk but you know people are moronic and it doesn't fucking matter but uh what I want to do 